Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2023 Grand Surveyor 267 RBSS travel trailer. This is more of a couple's coach, one slide out rear bath front bedroom. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2023 Grand Surveyor 267 RBS here. We're gonna spin our way through the kitchen living room area here, and then we'll check out the rest. So we're gonna start here on the slide out side over here. And first things up, we have a tri-fold sofa that will flip out, make into a large bed, so you could sleep a couple adults on that. The sofa is completely freestanding, so in the future, if you wanted to replace it or change it out with chairs or whatever, you could possibly do so. You have some overhead cabinets above the sofa there for some extra storage. Big windows in the slide out area. The two around the sofa area here do actually open. The big one at the dinette area does not, but the one behind the dinette seat there does actually open. So three of the four windows open up in that slide out. This dinette will actually flip down and make into a bed. So you could again sleep an extra person or two right here. The dinette seat, the bench seat part of it, does actually flip up. It's got a nice little easy raise up system there with a little shock assist on it. So you can get to all that extra storage there. Now their slide floor used the same linoleum that's on the subfloor. So you have matching floors basically. So a little different than some of the other models that use either the woven stuff or carpet. Now straight across from your sofa area here, you have your entertainment area. So you have a 39 inch Conexus TV, Furion sound bar, and then down below here you have some storage and an electric fireplace, which is basically just a fancy electric space heater, but it looks pretty cool inside the RV. Over here on this side, we have the Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Down below that is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. And their electric box, by the way, actually auto detects whether it's a lead acid battery or a lithium battery. So that's important when you're at, depending on what battery you're trying to buy, uh, what your electric system can actually do. Now you'll notice the heat vents kind of coming around some of the cabinetry and stuff instead of through the subfloor as we're looking through these uh, different rooms here. Just below the oven area is your furnace return. So that's actually where the furnace is located. You'll see the exhaust for that when we get outside. Just below the three drawers there is the road vac, uh, central vac, dustpan vac basically. So it is set up with all this linoleum so you could take a broom and basically just sweep everything into that dustpan vac. There's a little bag you got to change out from time to time. It does not come with the vacuum hose. If you want the hose you can order that from the vacuum makers website but the factory just sets it up so you can broom everything into it. Now there's again three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers there. You have the Furion oven which does have that glass front, has a light up uh, bulb inside there. You also have the light up knobs. And it is a three burner stove top, has the flip down glass lid and this basically just folds over and back in behind here you do have like a little cup thing here, a little place to maybe stash some knives down in. And you also have a cutting board as well. You'll see when we get outside as well, you'll see a sticker that talks about the new tire pressure monitoring system. This is a little monitor that you can put in your vehicle and see what's going on with your tires when you are rolling down the road. You have some storage underneath of your little sink area right here. 
there is a flip up countertop extension here as well. So this will flip up, giving you a little more counter space. You also have a little bottle opener there too. So fairly decent amount of counter space for you know toaster, coffee pots, all that type of stuff. Now, very important to remember though that countertop extension has to be down when you close up that slide or you'll crush it. You have two electric outlets back here. You can also see some uh, little LED lights up there as well on the bottom of the cabinets. High-rise spring sprayer faucet. Thermostat for your air conditioner and your propane furnace are located here on the wall. Quite a bit of overhead cabinet space as well. And Furion microwave. Also Furion hood range light and fan set up there. So you kind of got the whole Furion package going on in here. Refrigerator, microwave, stovetop oven, sound bar. So kind of get the hint there what they're going with. Now standing back here, kind of looking down our ceiling area here, we do have a roof vent up top. Wouldn't be a bad idea to slap one of those really nice maxi two vent covers, allowing you to leave it open in storage so it don't get rained on. Uh, also, just kind of letting this thing breathe when it's in storage. Or just getting some fresh air on a nice fall or early spring night if it's cool outside. Smoke detector up top here. We have our 15,000 BTU Coleman ducted AC. Um, a lot of brands, 13.5 is the standard. Here on the Grand Surveyor, 15,000 BTUs is standard. In some of their models, you could do a second air conditioner on, depending on the floor plan and things like that, uh, depending on the size of the RV. Now going up this direction, we are into the master bedroom area here. So right here we got going on a 60 by 80 queen bed. This bed will actually raise up and you can see in the picture there, there is some storage underneath of there as well. You have USB charger port and electric outlet on both sides of the bed. Window here on the left does open along with the window on the right. Kind of looking up top here, we have another roof vent. Again, wouldn't be a bad idea to slap a Max Air 2 vent cover on there. Or another brand. There's all different kinds of brands, by the way. Um, Two drawers on the left and right are full extending ball bearings or got drawers. You have your hang down closets and then some overhead cabinet across the top there. Windshield across the front. Now another kind of cool thing they do is you kind of see back in here, they make like a little nightstand with a little cup holder and stuff back there on both sides. And back here at the foot of the bed area, you do have TV hookups. So if you wanted to do a small TV here, sliding door. A decent amount of room in the bedroom. So you could kind of get up and get dressed in there. Again, not have to worry about stepping out into the living room area. Kind of looking here toward the entry door area. We have a large pantry slash closet area here. Little coat hooks up there. Lots of shelf space in there as well. Plenty of room for broom or dustpan, all that type of stuff to go in there as well. Magnetic holder for that door. And then you can see the window here looking out your camp area that window is set up for the Lippert thin shade to go in there if you wanted to add it aftermarket you seen when we were kind of outside or you will see again when we go back outside but uh, at the intro part there the door just looked black it was hard to tell there was an actual window there but there is and here we have our solar charge controller blinking at me because there's no battery on the RV at the moment. Um, 
Over here we got interior light switch, porch light, awning light, slide out button, awning button. Looking here at the back of the RV again, we have our big bathroom area here. Large sliding door to block it off for privacy. Step in shower. Now this shower does have the little pull across uh, vinyl curtain there that's supposed to clean itself off and stuff when you open and close it scenario here. You do also have the ABS tub surround there, skylight up above, roof vent up top, quite a bit of cabinet space back here, kind of all the way down through there. So you can stash some stuff back in there. Heat and air in the bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You do have some storage below the sink and in a large linen closet over there on the right as well. Window, obviously, that window will open. Some little hand towel holders or rope hook holders, whatever you want to stick up there, little towel holders. Then over here on this side, we have our little control panel. So here we have water heater on gas button, water heater on electric button, water pump, monitor panel for our battery, fresh black and gray waters. And then we have our ground fault electric breaker. Kind of looking forward, there is a propane leak detector down there. Then there is another button here that has to do with that wine guard uh, 360 air type of stuff. Uh, talk with your sales guy about that. They'll be glad to kind of help you out with a little more info on that if that stuff does interest you. But overall, pretty cool setup here. Great couples coach. Take the occasional guest with you or grandkid with you or something. Um, but super nice little setup here. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV and go over some of that stuff as well. All right, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Grand Surveyor 267 RBS travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So on the exterior, not a huge amount of changes happening this year. We have white fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal skirting. Now that white fiberglass exterior is actually attached to the Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. So it is much less likely to have any type of delamination issue on your fiberglass compared to a wood product that could rot out easier in case of a water leak. So check out the Asdale on board website, really kind of goes over that and explains that a lot better than I do, but definitely a nice improvement for the RV construction. We have aluminum studded sidewalls, and it is not just a perimeter aluminum studded sidewall like a couple other brands out there on the market. They actually stud around their baggage doors, uh, their windows, their entry doors and stuff like that. Uh, if you look at some ultralight style campers, some of them are very limited in studying in their wall construction. You have deep tent safety glass windows around the RV. We have power awning, LED light strip built in. We have the manual override in case of an electronic failure. And you also have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes. You have two outdoor speakers, an amber porch light up there in the center. So you have a porch light or an awning light, either one. Next to that amber porch light up there is also the stove exhaust. Now there is a little suburban gas griddle. You've probably seen it in some of my other videos and stuff. I did not get it out of the box, but it sits here on this little area. Then you have a little dump sink, cold water spray port, and an electric mini fridge. Up here, you do have a large pass-through storage compartment. That's that little griddle in the box there. Uh, you got a little motion light here. There's also your little speed uh, socket for a battery drill. You get you a nice, good cordless battery drill, put that little socket in there and zip those heavy duty scissor jacks down. You can kind of see underneath of here, you do have an enclosed underbelly. And then you can also see that little white tag flapping around down there. That is where your gas line is for that portable griddle. 
The unit's tandem axle, so you got four-wheel drum brakes. The new improvement for 2023 is it does have a tire pressure monitoring system in it as well. So that little screen you seen earlier basically goes in your truck. These tires are now shooting a signal to that to tell you what's happening when you're traveling down the road. Just above that front tire, there's an electric outlet and a cable outlet, so you can do a TV outside if you want. Looking up top there, you can see the big air conditioner, but just to the right of that is the little WineGuard Air 360. Um, kind of look into that a little bit as well. You'll see that you can kind of do some internet access stuff, aftermarket kind of scenario. Uh, talk with your sales guy if you need any information about that, but they'll be glad to help you with that. And then the solar panel located up there just above the entry door. We'll pop up a picture of the roof here shortly to go over that. We have the more ride entry step here. They did engrave the little surveyor name into it to give it a little extra difference there. But overall, it's a more ride triple entrance step, comes down, touches the ground, 500 pound rating, adjustable feet. They went with that black glass entry door. Doesn't look like it has a window, but it actually has a window. You've seen that when we were inside. Large folding entry handle here. Also your model number located right next to the entry door. So if you're out looking at a dealer's website, um, that is where you're usually looking for the model number of the unit that you like, so you can let your salesperson know. Some informational stickers there talking about the tire pressure monitor, the Asdale, those type of things. Uh, and then another little sticker here talking about the forced air heat to your underbelly, uh, optional 12 volt heat pad, standard 15 kc, you know, 80 watt solar, uh, 10 cubic foot fridge, all that good stuff. So quite a few things just kind of mentioning there as a little sales pitch. Ladder getting you up onto the roof. Ladder is rated for 250 pounds. Looking up there on the roof, you can see things like plumbing stack vents, skylights, airs, TV antennas, you know, solar, that type of stuff. Make sure you get up there from time to time and seal all that up. That sealer over time dries out, cracks out, all that type of stuff, and you gotta get up there and maintain it. So very important to get up there. I usually get up a couple different times a year at least to inspect it and make sure that it looks okay. If it looks like it's starting to get bad, usually it's a few years after ownership, but if it looks like it's starting to get bad, get you some nice Dicor caulk tubes, uh, which is what they use on a lot of these roofs, clean it up, refill it in, you're good to go for another usually couple years. You know, but you do wanna get up there and always check it. Top center here, is the prepping for the Furion observation camera. That is an aftermarket item you can purchase, allowing you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a campsite. But it is pre-prepped for that. If that interests you, I definitely recommend it, but if that doesn't interest you, you know, don't get it. But if you are interested, talk with your sales guy. Little flip down rack option here, nice little feature to have. Uh, it's rated for a few hundred pounds, but basically allows you to put a little luggage rack set up back here if you wanna take some extra gear with you. Power cord is detachable. That is a 30 amp power cord on this particular unit. It's probably 25 feet roughly. Cable inlet. Black tank flush to rinse out your toilet tank and city water inlet are all right here. Down below, low point water drain for your hot and cold water and then your gray and black tank dump as well. Slide system, again, rack and pinion slide system, 12 volt motor, push a button, should go in and out. You can manually work it in case of an electronic failure but hopefully that never happens. It is pre-prepped for Solaire slide toppers. There's little brackets on the corners of the room up there so that you could do a Solaire slide topper if that interests you. Talk with your sales guy about that again. Over here, we have our galley tank dump. So your kitchen and bathroom are very far apart. So you do have a separate dump up here for that galley tank. And then over here is your fresh water tank drain located right here. 
gravity fill fresh water tank fill up is right here next to your six gallon gas electric water heater. The other side of the storage compartment and this little panel right here is removable for winterization purposes. You can get to the back of the water heater to uh, do the bypass and stuff. Some pretty important informational stickers right here. We're gonna pop these up for you here real quick. The very first sticker popping up is your main production sticker, your main data sticker, basically. This sticker is telling you production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it has the length on it too. Next is cargo carrying capacity sticker. This is telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, tire size sticker. Most importantly here telling you tire pressure. Very important to maintain your tire pressure. Don't let it drop too low. If it gets too low, the tires cannot hold the weight of the RV properly and can blow out easier. So very important to make sure your tire pressure is set right. Good thing they put that new tire pressure monitoring system on there to help you out. Windshield in the front, you seen that when we were inside there looking out through the bedroom area. It has a three quarter fiberglass front cap here on the front section and a lower black metal diamond plate. You have power tongue jack, LED light built in, manual override in case of an electronic failure, two 20 pound propane tanks, auto changeover regulator underneath that hard bottle cover. Just back in here, you have your battery disconnect switch and in the little sensor for that tire pressure monitor that shoots it, a uh, little antenna sensor, I guess you'd say, shoots uh, the information to your little monitor in the truck. You have a little thing here on the side, which would work for holding that plug, it should be in there. Uh, your seven way Bargman wiring plug, breakaway cable, two and five sixteenths hitch ball. Overall, some nice new improvements for the 2023 model. A little new look with the interior and stuff on the wood and flooring and all that type of stuff. So definitely give them a thumbs up on some of the new look, definitely like it. All right, guys, appreciate it. We're gonna run back inside here. I wanna close this thing up for you, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back for the closure. All right, guys, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Grand Surveyor 267 RBS here. And we're gonna close up this slide, kinda show you what it looks like here. So as you seen earlier, the area right here next to the entry door has your slide buttons and stuff here. So we got our awning button, slide button, awning light, porch light, interior light, and then our solar charge controller. And we're gonna spin here and kind of show you this slide. So very important when you're bringing in the slide to make sure that your floor is clean. When it comes up and in, it will run over anything that's in its way. So it tilts up slightly, comes in over the uh, main subfloor, and it basically just rolls straight in, straight out. It is a 12 volt rack and pinion slide system. Pretty simple slide system to operate, and you can even manually override it in case of an electronic failure, if your battery dies or something. Hear that ratchety noise? Just basically kind of telling me it's all the way in. So standing back here, kind of looking down through there, you can see the floor area right here is pretty much functional. So I can walk in here. I could get to my fridge. I could get to my sink, my stove. I am not getting to the back bedroom though. So the slide would have to be out for that purpose. Now, if I was sleeping in a rest area or something, I could technically put down the little dinette area here. Maybe somebody could sleep on the sofa or something like that if you didn't want to open up the slide. But the rest of the coach, other than the main bedroom, is pretty much accessible. So if you're just stopping, want to come in, make a sandwich, use the bathroom or something like that, you do have full access to pretty much do all of that stuff. And then to take it back out, 
all you got to do is hit the button in the out position and the slide goes right on out and then if you need to let off the button and run outside make sure you're not about to accidentally hit the electric pole or water pole or something at your campsite you can just let off the button go do what you got to do come back in hit the button and get her going back out pretty simple nice big windows there to help you see when you're trying to run that thing out too so hopefully you don't hit anything with it and it's right on back out all right folks thanks for taking the time to watch my rv videos i hope this was helpful uh, please feel free to keep an eye out for more we got plenty of 2023 models rolling in and i will be videoing pretty much all of them as they get here appreciate it thanks again